Hey there guys, hope everybody's having a good day today. This is Mac and welcome to my channel. And before we start, you know, hey, if you like my videos, of course, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't yet, comment if you want, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out, all that good stuff, and yeah. And <laughs> Oh boy, and we're loading. And of course, we're going to be playing some Kingdom Come Deliverance today. And yeah, I'm not sure exactly where I need to go, but, um, okay, got that mark on my, uh, okay, I got this mark right here, following it, Going southwest of my compass here. What? Okay, there we go. All right. I'm still following that marker as best I can. Okay, cool. What? Oh, come on, man. Seriously? What the hell? Let's tr try over this way. Okay, that helped a little. That's good. I hope. Okay. Okay. Ancient map one. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> Strength one, agility zero. What the? Oh, boy. Okay, let's go to food. All right. Okay. Well, I found something here. Okay. Hello. Who are you? This is a bit awkward, but recently you buried a convict, and um, this convict, um... had a ring on him. So I'm asking you straight, have you got it or not? Lord above, you've got some balls trying that on me. Are you accusing me of robbing corpses? I wouldn't call it robbery. They've no use for such trinkets in the grave, have they? <laughs> You're a man after my own heart. I've got the ring. Give me a few groschen and it's yours. Okay. It's a deal. Here it is. Got the 
the what? man's ring. This is nothing but an ordinary copper band. It's not worth a tin penny. Okay. Discovered with Terry. Okay. Yeah, I'm going across the bridge this time. I went the wrong way. What's going on out there? Hey! Hey, what? Take the ring back. And yeah, I think that'll do it. You discovered mill, okay. Teresa, okay, cool. Good day to you. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtek, the miller in Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you, and I'll have something for you soon, too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. Hmm. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. All right. You'll buy stolen goods from me. Oh, thanks for your trust. I'm sure that'll come in useful. <laughs> Back to Peshak, uh, yep, I just talked to him. Take care now. Okay, picking locks. Quiet. Hold the lock in your right hand and use it to feel out the tumble. In your left hand, you hold the blade and use it to turn the whole mechanism. Got it? Good. 
Now turn the whole lock into the blade. But don't stop holding the tumble of the You're a dab hand harvest. Make something out of you yet. But remember, this trunk's only for practice. The real locks, you have to watch out for Quite a few more times, if you like. Then, good luck. Save your schnapps. Nice. When I came in, is it this door? Too difficult. Oh, great. Oh, boy. Ladder, okay, here we go. Oh, what? Oh, for the love of, come on, man. Come on. Oh, for the love of fuck, come on, man, seriously. There we go, finally. Okay. All right, sweet. Okay, good. Yeah, it's raining. Of course it is. Ah! Ow! Go. Oh, not cool, man.
You look like something the cat dragged in. Hmm. What actually happened to you in Scalis? I mean, during the attack and... Well, you know. That's a long story. Not a very cheerful one. Are you sure you want to hear it now? I do. All right, then. It was a day like any other. Another ordinary day in my ordinary life. <laughs> I awoke at first light, before the others. I like those kind of mornings best. When the first rays of sunshine quickly drive away the nighttime cold. Hello, you. Come here. And the breeze carries the scent of dew covered grass and the bloom of spring. Oh, I love you. <laughs> oh, you nice boy. I wanted to get my chores done before the rest of the household was up. And this morning seemed made for that very purpose. And we're loading. Ordinary right. Better get to work. I have to feed the hens, weed the garden, feed Tinka. I'd better get it all done before Papa is up. Hmm. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Back in the pantry, okay. Oh boy. He'll be grumpy if I wake him. I'd better let him sleep. No, I should finish my chores and not wake anyone. Oh boy. If I could figure out what her chores entail, it would be, you know, 
Okay, feeding the chickens and stuff like that. Where the hell do I find the stuff to feed the chickens? Oh, boy. Chicken feed out here, maybe. Can't even wake him up at all. That kind of sucks, but whatever. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Jeez. Come on already, Jesus. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Damn it. Copper ring. Okay, seriously. Yeah, I have no clue what to even do here, damn it. Except, like, feed the chickens, but I can't find any chicken feed, and yeah. I will we'll figure it out, eventually. Dog, all right. Chicken feed, there we go, finally. Lord, okay, time to feed the chickens, damn it.
Okay, where the hell do I take the frickin' chicken feed? The chicken feed just need to figure out where to put it. Okay. Chicken feed. Oh, I should go save your snaps too. Nice. Feed the garden, feed Tinker, feed the chickens. Okay. Oh, nice piece of meat for Tinker. Okay. All right, good. That I know where to get. Okay, let's go feed the dog. boy <laughs> that's my boy look what I've got for you you'll love this puppy all right What? We did feed the dog. Oh, goody, here we go. Chicken feed, yeah, okay. A bag of grain that will put a smile on any beak. Okay. <laughs> Is this where it goes? I don't know. Oh, come on already. What the?
Hmm. Where the hell is the freaking chicken feed? Damn it. Jeez. Chicken feed. Yeah, right there. Okay. You can't use this qu use quest item. Well, damn it. <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do with the game? Seriously, come on now. Okay, let's... Okay, weed the garden and feed the chickens. Okay, fine. Okay, vegetables from your own garden always taste best. But they won't grow... But they won't grow well. They won't grow well if we put an extra N on there, which is kind of dumb. Whatever, anyhow. If the garden is choked with weeds, I have to pull them. Okay. Chickens, here we go. Here, chicky, chicky, chicky. Here, here you okay. are, girls. Fill your beaks. <laughs> All right, now I gotta weed the garden. I think. At least I got the chickens fed. That's a good thing, right? Right. Okay. Ordinary routine. Okay. the garden okay all right weed Hmm. Oh, I gotta weed the entire freaking garden, eh? Jeez. Not a problem. Weed, okay. Yeah, we're getting there. That should do it. The garden right. is looking how it should again. 
Good. Okay, go go talk to Pops. What do you need, Papa? Go up and see the blacksmith. He made some nails for me. Here's some coin. All right. Anything else while I'm at it? No, unless you want to stop off at the market and buy some supplies. And before you go, wake Samuel. The boy's still lying in bed and won't stir. He ought to follow your example and Stebor's. You two don't have to be pushed to work. Well, at least he's still better than that good-for-nothing's Bishek. Mm. The lazy wretch. A helper like that isn't worth a damn. If it weren't for his father, God rest his soul, I'd have thrown him out on his ear long ago. Now, father, you shouldn't be so hard on Zabeshek. You know he hasn't had an easy life. And who has, girl? That's no excuse for laziness. You could tell him to get his ass to work, too. Right. Go for nails, <laughs> send Samuel and Zabeshek to work. If it's at all possible. Aye, just so. Oh, and Teresa, once you've done all your chores for the day, I have a little surprise for you. Okay. A surprise, Pa? Don't you want to tell me about it now? Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> what kind of surprise would it be if I told you, girl? Oh, all right. Alrighty then. Sammy, get up. It's broad daylight and the birds are singing. Yeah, yeah, I'm up, I'm up. Have a bite to eat before going to the mine. All right, Ma. You don't have to treat me like a child. Looks like it'll be nice mm. today, eh? Hmm. I could go to the pond fishing. But you have to go to work. I know. But maybe I can slip off after lunch. There'll be no slipping off. You know mm. very well Namoy has been complaining about you. Or about dropping that pail on Tonda's head. It was an accident. Not the first accident you've had, though, was it? Well, there you go, then. If I leave early, nothing will happen to anyone. And you can cook the fish for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> you silly son. Wow. All you ever do at the pond is lie around. The only thing you'll catch is more trouble from the mine master when he finds out. Well, if you're not a child, you can sort it out yourself with Namoy. Don't I always? God be with you. How's it going, Stebor? Do you need anything? No. I'll just be hanging around the mill today. Carrying sacks of flour and that. And in the afternoon, I'll go and check the fish trap. And then me and Pa have some matters to attend to in the evening. What matters? Ah, uh, nothing to worry your pretty little head about, sister. Oh, yeah. Mm. The millers and their secret matters. Aye, oh, something like that. Yeah. Alrighty then. Let's see if I can go wake up that, uh, that other guy. <laughs> woof, woof, woof. Tinker. A good name for a dog. Can't even talk to that guy, what the hell? Eh, it's just, oh well, whatever. Oh, 
Pa says you're idle, and if you carry on like that, he'll throw you out. Ah! Why would he do that? Then he'd be left only with Stibor, and... Stibor is not going to break his back working, either. Don't you talk about my brother that way. Do you think I can't see for myself who works here and who doesn't lift a finger? Huh. What would you know about real work? You're just a girl. Ooh. I know a lot more about it than you. Oh, damn. Father is right. You're always idling or slacking off somewhere. Seems to me like dear Papa lost that dice again and he's taking it out on me. Now leave me be. I'll go to work when I'm good and ready. Wow, what a douchebag. Yeah, that guy's definitely a grade A number one douchebag. Haven't these sacks been taken out? Don't worry. It's not like they're going to run away. Give me a chance. I just got up. God, give me patience. It's the same with you day in, day out. Move your ass or I'll take a cane to you. Jesus, what a fuss. I'm going. I'm going. Good boy. That's my boy. Here, heal. All right, cool. Okay. Okay, I gotta get up there, all right. Cool. All right. Okay. Okay, well, I thought I was 
fixed the uh, castle now. again quest log okay okay No sign Not of the, the blacksmith. blacksmith. Where can he be? Oh, okay. All right, seriously. Oh, there she is. Duh. God's blessings. Father sent me to pick up nails, but there's no one at the fort. I uh, sorry, lass. Martin had to go to the castle to talk to Sir Radzig. He's to forge a sword for his lordship. Oh, I oh. see. And has he made the nails for Pa? I'm afraid he hasn't had time on account of that sword. But if you come tomorrow, he'll surely have them for you. I'll remind him this evening. All right, I'll stop by tomorrow. Well, Do that, okay. dear. Oh, and by the way, the girls were looking for you. Which girls? Bianca and Johanka. You should oh. stop by and see them before you go home. Okay, you why girls not? must be plotting something. What was it about? They didn't say, but it seemed important, which probably means boys, I suppose, hey? There's no harm in that, is there, good wife? You were young yourself once and went dancing with boys. Oh, so I'm an old woman now, am I? Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm only teasing you, girl. Dancing is just what you young ones should be doing. Make the most of it while you can. Before you know it, your pa will find you a husband. And you'll have a pack of children to take care of. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's <laughs> hope it's not too soon. Thanks for letting me know. I'll stop by tomorrow for those nails, then. Not at all. Oh, and another thing, Teresa. Have you seen Henry around anywhere? If he helped his father out more at the forge, there'd be no shortage of nails. I haven't seen him at all. No doubt he's at that sword play with that so-called combat master again. 
If he could wield a hammer half as good as a wooden sword, there'd be no shortage of nails. Hmm. Huh. Already. Bianca, how come you're up so bright and early? Papa has me running around from dawn till dusk. You know how it is. Indeed I do. I'm glad you're here, Tess. You've got to help me with something. But first, can you go and see Henry for me? He's at the sheepfold by the stockade, as usual. Mm. <laughs> oh, playing around with wooden swords again? Hi. He is getting ready for the life of a mighty warrior. Well, at least we know he'll be able to protect you from outlaws with wooden swords. <laughs> oh well, yeah, boys and we all know games. how that worked out, eh? Listen, would you bring him a beer from me? But why don't you bring it yourself? If Pa saw me running after Henry, he'd tend my hide. But I can't leave him dry in this heat. All right, I'll bring the beer to him. Thanks. And don't beer. forget to tell him it's from me. Everyone knows all the beer in Scallops is from you and your pa. <laughs> you know what I mean. And listen, Tess. Once you've given him the beer, come back to me again. Meanwhile, I'll make an excuse to pa. I need you to go somewhere with me. But I'll tell you all about it after. Run along before the beer gets warm. <laughs> Okie dokie then. Whoops. Kind of bad really, huh? Right? God be with you, Henry. Mind you don't get hurt. Good day, Teresa. Christ! I brought you a beer. I'd say you'd need it after a hard battle. Ah, great. It's as hot as Pa's forge out here today. <laughs> That's very sweet of you to get me a beer. Actually, Bianca sent it. Her Pa doesn't want her to come here. Ah, I see. I'll make it up to her this evening. I don't want to know how. How come you're training on your own today? You're usually here with that vagabond. What's his name? Vanyek. And he's not a vagabond. He's a wayfaring combat master. Well, it looks like he's off wayfaring somewhere else today. Yeah, <laughs> more likely sleeping off last night's boozing. 
Actually, oh. since I've no opponent today, wouldn't you like to have a go? I mean, a bit of sword play. I could teach you. Me? Uh. Sword play? Sure. Why not? All right, then. I accept your challenge, young sir. But I must warn you, I can swat a mouse with a broom with my eyes closed. Yeah, I knew you had the heart of a warrior. Let's go, then. Come on, then. Show me what you're made of. Whoever is the first to hit the other ten times is the victor. What if I hurt you, though? Ah, don't worry. I can handle it. Oh, damn, am I whooping his ass? Holy crap, I whooped his ass. <laughs> oh, damn, dude, that was pretty freaking bad happiness. Don't go easy on me, Hal. <laughs> ah, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Hardly chivalrous behavior. Now, I shall have to fight for my honor. Take that, you scoundrel! Oh. Are you alright? Oh, oh that's how he got the. I'm sorry oh, damn! I didn't mean to. That's Are how he got the me? scratch. No, of course not. My stupid fault. Well, that'll teach you to go around slapping decent, God-fearing girls on the backside. <laughs> Let me have a look at it. No, no, it's only a scratch and a couple of splinters. And I didn't mean to, you know. Show me that. No, really, it's nothing. <laughs> you know how it is, Hal. He who lives by the sword. Dies by the splinter, eh? <laughs> 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 There now. Mm. <coughs> By the way, you owe Bianca for that beer. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie then. Okay, I need to go back and talk to Bianca again, of course. There she is. God. Good day to you. What do you need? What else was it you wanted from me? You brought that beer to Henry then? I did. Uh huh. And what did he say? He said thanks. That's about it. Huh. That's just like him. All right. Oh. But now I can tell you what I wanted. Fancy a walk in the woods? Right now? You want to court me in the shade of the pines? <laughs> oh. No. I need to big herbs for distilling schnapps. Henry's favorite.
What herbs do you need? I've got almost everything, except Belladonna. I know a clearing where the best plants grow. Belladonna? But that's deadly poison. It is, if you don't know what you're doing. But don't worry, I haven't poisoned anyone yet. Henry's favorite. I see. Yes. I'd like to give it to him tomorrow. I might have known it'd be about Henry again. Well, you know how it is, Tess. Don't worry. You'll find a fellow one day. That's easy to say when you work in a tavern where there are fellows swarming around you all day. All I see at the mill are sacks of flour. What about Zbyshek? Zbyshek? Mm. Rather settle for a sack of flour. Hmm. I suppose. Your pa would never let Bishak have you anyway. Not long ago, when he had a few too many, I heard him say how he was going to get you the richest husband for miles around. Oh, Ugh. pa. I hope that was just the beer talking. Why don't you go and pick it yourself? Pa won't let me go on my own. They say a wolf was seen in the woods recently. A wolf? Hereabouts? So they say. But it was old Blaha who claimed to see it, and he's never sober. Mm. Still, I wouldn't want to go there alone. Couldn't your brother go with you? Adam? He'd shit himself if he saw a wolf. And besides, someone has to take care of the tavern. But he could lend us his bow. Good thinking, Tess. Uh, thanks? <laughs> so, you're going to borrow a bow from Adam, and then you want me to go oh, with you boy. to pick Belladonna in the woods. Actually, it's not entirely that simple. Adam won't lend me his bow. The last time he did, I broke the string. Oh, You'll have to get it good. from him. Anyway, I don't know how to shoot. But Stibor taught you, didn't he? Yeah, but that was a long time ago. It doesn't matter. If the wolf sees a bow, he won't come near us. <laughs> so will you go and ask Adam? You know he's always liked you. Just give him a wink and the bow is yours. You might be able to do that with Henry, but me? Well, come now. You're as pretty as any lass in the province. And once you've got the bow, meet me on the bridge by the lake, all right? All right, I'll help you. But next time I want something from you, I don't want to hear any excuses about how you have to see Henry. Hmm. Deal. You're an angel, Tess. Alrighty then. Okay, um, unfortunately... I'm gonna have to cut it short here. But yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to cut it short here, unfortunately. So uh yeah. Hey. You know, like I said before, if you like my videos, you know, hit that like button, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and yeah. So yeah, let's um that's gonna do it for now. Y'all take care of yourselves, take care of each other, stay safe out there. This is Max signing off. Have a good one, guys.